All right, guys, so now that we've done our motor directions, our resources, we've got our OSD set up and everything, now it's time to get our receiver set up. So for this one, I've got a, uh, I've got an XM Plus, FreeSky XM Plus actually mounted uh, under here, and the bind button is sitting right under here. You could take the top of this off if you wanted to to see it, um, and I'm not really, well, I guess maybe I will, but it's not really that necessary. Let me just see, maybe if it's not too much of a pain, let me do that. Um, so let me take this, I'm gonna take this antenna off here real quick. Okay, let's move that out of the way and then I'll take this top plate. Let me take these two screws off, put those over there. Okay, so here is our XM Plus, okay? And to bind this XM Plus, I've got my system set up here to where I've just turned on my DC uh, converter. So I'm gonna hold the bind button down. Actually, I can just do this like this here. Let me do it like this so you can see a better screen. Hold the bind button down right here, and it's if you're using XM Plus, but it'll apply to anything basically. Turn it on, and I'm gonna end up with a solid green and red light. All right, I'm gonna set that over here. Hopefully you guys can see that still. So let me put it like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my X9 light right here. I'm gonna power that on. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, now I'm going to, um, I have this set for my RXSR. Uh, let me just see what I have here. Uh, this is my XM Plus, so I'm gonna to go to that model right there, which it doesn't matter if you have that model or not, but what I wanna do is I wanna go here and I'm just gonna to go to my binding, ACCST D16, and I'm gonna to go to my bind right here. I'm gonna click bind. And I'm gonna put 9 through 16 with telemetry on, and it's starting to bind. And what we have is we have our red light blinking here. That means that we're bound. So I'm gonna hit exit, 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 get back to my main screen. Now I'm gonna turn my drone off. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put the top back on now because that's that's all I needed was to be able to reach the bind button. So let me just put this top back on real quick. I like to have everything kind of put away. And if you end up, if you ever get a drone from me like this gentleman here who's getting this one, this is how I set up my switches. So if you're wondering how they're set up and you have yourself an X9 lighter, basically a QX7 or X9D plus or any of those, all my switches are exactly the same every time. So you don't, you'll, if you want to change them, you can, but you'll at least know exactly how I'm doing mine. Let me get this screwed in here. This one screwed in here. All right. That's on there real good. That's on there real good, yep. Okay, good. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring up, we've got our radio. Okay, so I'm gonna set that right here. And we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Betaflight back up. Okay. And we're gonna connect. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to turn my battery on. I'm going to plug in my USB. Okay. And I'm going to click connect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to receiver. Now, if your drone is spinning out of control like this, that's because you may have your channel map wrong. So I'm going to drop down here and go to TAER, which is how mine's configured, and click save. Now, all of a sudden, mine's set. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to set my modes. I want to set up how I'm going to arm it. And I got to keep these a little bit apart from each other because um, it will interfere with the signal. You can see, so that I'm going to keep this radio just a bit apart. But what I'm going to do is, uh, let me see if I can, well, I'll just, I'll show you here in just a second. So I'm going to go to modes. Once I know this is all good, I'm going to go to modes. And my arm mode, I'm going to click add range. and I'm going to flip my arm button. Okay, now, there you go. Okay, now just in case you're wondering, my arm button is always the SA uh, button right here, okay? Which is always, I don't, I'm not talking about any of these here on the, on the, on the top of the, of the controller. I'm talking about the, on the face. Switch one or SA is always gonna be my arm control, okay? So if you're getting one from me, this will be your arm and disarm will always be away from you and arm will be always towards you. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna take this slider and I'm gonna drag it 
And what that means is in position one, which is away from me, it's disarmed. Position two, it will be armed. In position three, it will be armed. And the reason I do that is I put it all the way in position three always. In case I accidentally bump it and it goes to two, I don't disarm my quad. So that's switch one, SA. I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to go to my modes for angle. Now on this, my modes for angle, horizon, and acro with air and so forth is always my far right switch, which is SD. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add range. And I'm going to flip, well, it'll be auxiliary two, right? And I'm going to put the, this angle mode is the safest mode. So I'm going to put that all the way to where if the switch is pulled towards me and not away, I'm in angle mode. Then I'm going to go to add range for horizon mode and drop down to 12. I'm sorry, drop down to auxiliary two. And I'm going to leave that in the middle. That's the second safest, right? So here is the safest, easiest flying angle mode. Here's the second where it's not angle, but I still have horizon. And then when I go to the first position, and if you look here, the first position is the position away from me, right? That's going to be my acro with air. So I'm going to come down here and find air mode right here. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to auxiliary two. And I'm going to drag this bar all the way to here. So you can tell this is acro with air. This is horizon. And you can see it right there. And then this is angle mode. I'm going to click save. Okay. And now as I change, you will see how the lights light up. See right there. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to set my fail safe. So for that, I'm going to add a range and I'm going to pick, I believe it's auxiliary three on mine. Uh, I think maybe, maybe I don't have it set up yet. Hold on. Now I'm confused. I may, I may not. Uh, let me go back to my receiver tab because I don't know if I have auxiliary three configured yet. Hold on one second. I've got, I've got one. I see. Okay. So. I've got auxiliary three uh, on a different switch, so I'm going to change that real quickly. So bear with me a second. Um, so I'm going to go page, oops, sorry, menu, page, page, page. And I want my, um, I'm going to change this. And you don't have to worry about this. I'm just doing this right now. This was actually set for Wi Fi, uh, but I'm going to do this this way. So F. A, and you've seen, I've done plenty of videos on how to set up your radio. If you haven't set it up and you need to, um, that's fine. But I, I call that FAI. And that switch is going to be actually this three-way switch right here, SB. So I'm going to hit exit, exit, exit. And then let me go to the next page. Go down here. I'm going to edit this. And that's going to be, I'm going to rename it real quickly. Sorry, again, you don't have to worry about this part. But um, I had this set for a Wi-Fi testing. Uh, so let me change this. Okay. All right. So now my auxiliary three should be, there it is, my big switch. So if you're getting one for me and I'm programming for you, this switch right here, which is SB, that's going to be your fail safe and your alarm or your buzzer, I mean. So we're going to go back to modes. Okay. And I'm going to go down to fail safe here. And you're going to see here in just a second, let me, let me, Oops, let me delete this and do it again. Let me add a range. Oops, there we go. Okay, let me move this out of the way a little bit. So I'm going to put this on auxiliary three. And what I'm going to say is in position closest to me, that's going to be fail safe. And I'm going to go down to my beeper button and I'm going to put auxiliary three. And I'm going to say in middle position and end position, we're in buzzer mode. Okay, flip it off. Go to middle without fail and I can hear my buzzer. That's like if I'm trying to find it, if I crash in the field, fail, I flip that, and that's if I'm having a problem or concern and I want to get out of it altogether and I just want to drop the quad. Let me get this all turned off, there we go. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That takes care of this, so I'm in air mode, I'm in everything else there is perfect, and that's, that's all we're gonna do, so I'm gonna click save. All right, and so again, to recap, SA is the arm. And it, away position, it's disarmed. Middle position armed, towards me armed. Fail safe switch, away from me, it's off. Middle position would be buzzer. All the way towards me is fail safe and buzzer. And then SD over here, away from me is acro with air. Middle position is horizon. And uh, third position towards me is gonna be angle mode. So safe, safest, and then safe, and then acro with air. So just fly at your own 
uh, fly at your own uh, skill level there. All right, that pretty much does it for programming this. Now, the only other thing I want to do is I want to go over to my power and battery, and I'll say, okay, look, right now I've got this system. I'm running 20 uh, volts to it for my battery meter, but let me just take this down to what a 16.8, let's say, okay? And you see how it's beeping right now because it thinks I have a five volt, a 5S battery. So I'm gonna, I'm going to um, disconnect and I'm going to unplug, turn off my power and I'm gonna unplug my USB, all right? Because I need this thing to re recognize that it's running on, let's say on a 4S. So I'm gonna turn this on. And now when I connect, I've lowered my power here. So just make sure whatever battery you're running, you're getting the same readings here. So see how it says a 4S and my battery charger, or my battery meter says I'm doing 16.5, so this is right. And what I wanna say is I wanna say, okay, well, I want this thing to start warning me when I am at 3.7 volts, okay, right there. And I want to be the minimum 3.5, let's just say. Maximum cell voltage on a standard one is gonna be 4.2, all right? Now, if you're not running a high HV, all right? Don't worry about milliamps right now, just click save, okay? Now, watch what happens. I'm gonna slowly turn down, so watch up here, right? And what should happen is when I get to a 3.7. So if you do 3.7 uh, times 4, that is going to be 7. Point, that's going to be 14.8. So I'm going to turn this down to 14.8. And watch this cell voltage start dropping up here real quick. Watch. Let me click save. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you see where it says I'm at my minimum voltage now? That's where I'm, be it's telling me, hey, look, man, you're done. You need, you need to get out of there because uh, you've, you've reached below your, your, your threshold here of where your minimum voltage should be. Now the warning will be on your um, screen, all right? So if I was to turn this screen on, and hopefully this won't interfere with our video, I don't know if I'm, I'm not getting any because I turned it off, but let me just see if I can turn this on. Okay, it's 25 milliwatts on channel two. Let's see if I can find this without it disrupting our, um... oh my God, I'm picking up their video outside. Look, I got guys flying outside. Whoops. Let's see if I can pick up my own video. I got guys on the field, I totally forgot. I don't think I'm on the same channel as them. I better be careful though, I didn't even think about it. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm gonna go to channel E, and then I'm gonna go to five, and I should be able to pick up E5 here. So there we go, okay. See that right there? Look at that picture, okay? It's flashing low battery. Now let me turn the, let me turn it back up. Okay, so right now it's showing me like, oh, it's a battery full. Okay, fine. But watch as I get down here. As I turn the, as I turn the voltage down, right? Well, let me see. Uh, 37.4 warning voltage. So let me click save. I'm going to disconnect real quick and power off. And I'm going to unplug my USB. And now I'm going to plug it back in. Turn on my, okay. So now watch what happens. Here's what we're gonna do. So we're going to, it's gonna link up real quickly. It's saying we're at low battery. Okay, so I, I, needed, to, I needed to reset. I needed to power it off real quick for those to take effect. But now watch, because I told it my minimum is three point, or my warning is 3.7. So we said that was about 14.8. So right now I'm at 15.2. Okay, and I'll, uh, I'll put a cap on this camera so you can see the OSD a little bit better. Okay, there. So you can see where it says like battery full or what have you. But now watch what happens. As I turn this down, you can see on my OSD it's picking up too. It's at 14.9. Now watch. 14.88. And you see that? There's my battery warning. That's what this is right here, warning voltage. 
Now if I keep going, now it turns into land now. And it's, it's actually gonna take that quad and land it for me. All right, it, it's telling me, bud, you need, to, you need to get out of the air because you're at your minimum voltage. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this back up so it quits yelling at me. So that's what this is all about. So make sure that you set this to what your level is. I would tell you, I think this is fair. I would, I would set it to this if I were you. I don't see any problems with it. And that's about it. Um, so at that point, guys, if we wanted to actually see if this thing's ready to arm, all I have to do now is I just have to go to my motors tab and I can just tell this thing right here, go ahead and then I'll flip my arm switch. Oops, let me get, I think I have everything set. Let me go ahead and do that, okay. And there you go. My motors are ready to arm from my receiver. Okay, so I know we're ready to go. So that's it. So I guess the next thing is gonna be a test flight, guys. So that's all the program. Oh, let me turn this off. That's literally all the programming we have. Everything is ready to go. So now we're just gonna put some props on it, get it for a little, a little test flight. And, um, and that'll be the end of it, all right? If you guys have any questions, let me know. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so close to the camera there. Uh, but if you have any questions, let me know. As always, guys, so this is the complete, that is the complete build video for the DB5 analog series. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go test this real quickly, make sure everything works properly on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and ship this off to our customer. Guys, I appreciate y'all very much. And if you need one built, just go to our website, cyclonefpv.com. You'll see this on the main page. You can do it in digital, you can do it in analog. I'm gonna do a digital build next, uh, but I'm gonna get this one tested and out the door. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. I'd always greatly appreciate it, guys. God bless, be safe, and most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always build and fly later. Talk to you guys later. Peace.